Hey, 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 all right, everybody, how's it going? Now then, what have I got by you? I got the GoPro Hero Black 11. And if you watched some of my videos before, I did have an Osmo Action 3, and I sent it back because the focus was absolutely awful. It was terrible, it was diabolical. <laughs> so I sent it back and I bought this. And is it gonna be any better than the Action 3? Let's find out. So like I said, I had the Action 3, the focus was way out of whack, so I managed to send it back, even after the 14 day period, I think it was 24 days I had it, sent it back, got my money back, I went online and I ordered the Hero 11 Black, uh, what is it, it's called the, uh, the Special Bundle. And it's a bit strange because the Special Bundle was £3.99, and on its own it's still £3.99, so obviously buy the Special Bundle. <laughs> So I've bought the special bundle uh, of the GoPro and uh, I'm going to test it out and see what it's like. I've still got the old footage of the uh, Osmo Action 3 and I know it's not scientific, it's not on the same day, but um, if I do some similar, similar, similar sort of videos of what I did, you can sort of see the differences between the focus. So we'll, we'll take this out, well I'll take it outside and I'll take some videos of it and uh, do a few tests and we'll put them side by side. So there you go. Like I said, it's not scientific, okay? It's not scientific at all because I shot one on one day and one on another day. They were both sunny days, but the sun was over there on one day and the sun was over there on the other day, if you know what I mean. But look, we were looking at the focus, okay, right? So I know somebody might want to go on the keyboard and say, they were different days. They were different days, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, right? But look, <laughs> just look at the focus on the... Um, Osmo Action 3, the focus was awful. I think, I reckon, I had the worst Osmo Action 3 <laughs> in the universe. Right, I reckon I had the worst one. Because I've looked at other people's footage, some are bad, some are okay, some are, I don't know, it's, it, it seems to differ slightly, so I'm not, I'm not sure. When DJ said some are bad and some are not, I think they're all bad, personally, but I think some are worse than others. It's like as if, I don't know. It's like when they screw the lens in, it's not calibrated properly. Anyway, the the point is, mine was blinking awful, okay, right? And you can see that on the footage. I don't know if it looks as bad on YouTube. It's filmed in 4K. It's outputted in 4K to YouTube. So if you're looking on your phone, right, stop, right? Stop it right now, okay? Stop looking on your phone <laughs> because you will not see the difference. So if you're looking on your phone and then you start commenting, stop it, right? I'm telling you. Stop it, okay? Right, look at it on a big screen, preferably a TV, um, and in 4K, and then you see the difference. It's massive, it's a massive difference. But anyway, so that was the difference, and I'm quite happy with the GoPro footage. Um, the color's a bit, um, what, what can I, how can I put it? It's a bit red, the color's a bit red, it's a bit too much, there's a touch too much red in it for the on the GoPro, for my eyeballs, okay? I thought it was a little bit red, the, the Osmo Action 3, that's a little bit green. Um, both of them are not perfect because the colour of my fence is slightly different to the colours they're showing. Um, I'd say the Osmo Action 3 was closer to the actual colour um, and the, the GoPro 11 was a bit red. But I don't mind the colours because I can change the colours. I, I do editing in uh, DaVinci Resolve so I can tweak the colours. I'm not, 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 too much, I know, I'm not too bothered about that. The focus, once the focus is out, is poop. So I don't mind the colours. Now, another experiment I thought I'd do, I'm filming, actually, I'm filming this on a Sony, um, oh, I can't remember the name. It's a Sony EV1, or is it, is that what it is? I'll put it, I'll, I'll put it down by here. Anyway, 
So it's an AP, APSC, oh, I can't get, I don't know, I can't remember. The, it's an APCS, or is it APSC? APSC sensor, Sony camera. So it's got quite a big uh, sensor. And I thought, I'll put the GoPro on this now and see if I can tweak the, set, the, the settings that I got on the camera and see how good it is. Because this is quite, it's quite dark in here. I got a light by there, I got a key light by there, I got a secondary light by there, and I got some dark lights behind me. So I thought, I'll put the GoPro by there, I'll put the ISO down as low as it can go, I'll set the, um, uh, what, what, what are the settings, the, the white balance to 4200K, I think it is, and the shutter speed down to uh, 30, I think it is. The F, the F stop is, is fixed on the GoPro, but it's on F 3.5 on this camera and film with now. So what I'll do, I'll switch over to the GoPro right now. Right, okay then, I've got the GoPro. It's got to, it's got to come a little bit closer because the front there, the lens is quite wide. So I've brought the camera in quite close. <laughs> it's by there. <laughs> it's about, oh, I don't know, I can't see. About a meter away from me. That's why I'd say it is anyway. So on the GoPro, I've lowered the ISO down to 200. I've got the white balance at 4,000K. And I've got the frame rate at 130. Um, one over 30. Um, so, uh, what do you think? Is that acceptable? This is the, actually the GoPro now, doing it like a sort of YouTube to the camera setup. Is it acceptable? Let's change back to the uh, Sony camera now. Right, and I'm back on the Sony camera now. Was it much of a difference? Was it terrible? Was it awful? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll switch back one more time to the GoPro. Okay, and we're back on the GoPro again. So what do you think? What is, is, is it a massive difference? Would you turn off if you saw somebody doing it with a GoPro in this sort of setup? Is it okay in a dark sort of darkness? What do you think? Leave in the comments below, would you use this GoPro in this sort of setup, doing a YouTube sort of to the camera sort of thing? What do you think? Anyway, let's go back to the Sony again. Right, and I'm back on the Sony now. What did you think of that? Um, I haven't seen the footage myself yet, so I can't tell you. When I edit it, I'll know what it looks like. But at the moment, I haven't got a clue. <laughs> but I thought I could do some more tests. I think I'll try and do some more tests in the dark because the GoPros, the action cameras, are not very good in dark circumstances. But I haven't found any other problems with the GoPro yet. I haven't done enough testing. I need to do some more testing. So I'll do some more testing um, over the next day or two. And I'll, I'll add it onto this... Um, this video here and I'll get back to you when I've done a bit more testing. go like I said it's not scientific it's just me with a camera going up and down like that <laughs> in the dark in the dusk um, I, I will say the action 2 because I was comparing the action 2 and M ones uh, I did prefer some of the shots off the action 2 to the GoPro 11 um, except for the last one was a bit naff because there was loads of noise it was the ISO was like trying to go wide open and it was really noisy that last shot was Whereas the GoPro was a bit too dark, you couldn't see anything anyway, so <laughs> I don't know. Um, but like I said, the Action 2, I, I, I quite like the Action 2, but it shoots that way. I would prefer if it shot that way, not that way, because when it's that way, it's a bit top heavy. But anyway, that's another story. So what did I think the uh, GoPro 11? I preferred the image to the DJI Action 3. My DJI Action 3, you'll see in the footage if you watch on a big screen, 
it is rubbish. Um, the, the the GoPro 11, it is in focus, well, as good as focus can be for a action cam. So I do prefer that. I haven't done any long tests, you know. I haven't tried if it's going to be freezing issues or heating issues because I haven't done that. I don't know how long the battery life lasts. I have seen some other videos where they say the battery is better than the last GoPro, but the battery life is nowhere near as good as the um, nowhere as good nowhere near as good as the Action Three. So there's there's plus and negatives, isn't it? It is a bit, you know, like like I said in other videos, put them together, you'd have one great action cam. But anyway, so so far I like the action uh it's too many cameras to remember isn't it i like the gopro 11 so far um what did you think of the pictures and you know and what do you think of the gopro 11 if you got one um and if you had an action 3 are you happy with the image put it in the comment section down below well anyway if you like this video go on give it a like or a dislike i don't mind uh subscribe click notification bell and i'll see you in the next one hi hey, hey.